will help us in our meditation. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely. And let us. We see in Jesus' ministry, Jesus was very critical to some of the people like the Pharisees who were doing good deeds outwardly but without any compassion and goodwill from the heart. This may often lead to the understanding that our goodwill must be exercised implicitly without uh, any notice. However, Apostle Peter from this uh, letter, in the light of Jesus' teachings, rather our conducts in our past life, which we had before, before we follow Christ, do not be conformed to the desires. We cannot go deeper in that study. Slide not to abstain from the life filled with jealousy, covetousness, and so many uh, things, the life that we left behind. If we look at the life of the Christians in Galatians, after witnessing the love of Christ for so long, after following Jesus Christ for so long, they were again away from the love of God. Even if they might as I studied in my thesis, the role of spirituality to quality of life among cancer patients, I found out some of the cancer patients gave up hope in God as they find it difficult to see the hand of God. In verse 15, Peter tells us to be obedient like innocent, the innocent children. We know Jesus also made an example about the children's life because they have a life of humility, humbleness, a life that accepts, easily accepts their own wings, a life that is easy to guide. We may be away from that nature because if someone corrected us, we might feel angry and want to be against them. But children are not like that. That's what Jesus made an example uh, of the life of children, a life of humility. And we see Peter said, set all your hope. He doesn't say set some of your hope on God, on the grace. That means if we obey God, then we will be holy. And as obedience is the way to be holy. Let us end up our meditation by reading Bible verses that sustains my hope. When I have trouble thinking about my future in 1995, that time I am deeply involved in evangelical Indian in secular college. At the same time, I think God called me to do a, some kind of pastoral ministry through Bachelor of Theology Studies. I have trouble thinking which one. I will choose. At that right moment, God gave me uh, and conformed me to this scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord and with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your path. May God bless us all.